So let's just take a moment and settle in, wiggle our hips, shrug our shoulders up to our ears, roll them down the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And again, let's look, look, just, just slowly keep your chin nice and level and look to the right and just notice the neck, notice where the tension is in the left shoulder and go as far as you can, nice and slow. And then gently draw it back and look to the left. And come back to center. Now we'll lower our chin about halfway and do the same thing, keeping the chin nice and level, look to the right and just feel that tension. Not really a stretch, it's just an examination of where the body's at. And bring it back to center and then lower the chin all the way. And feel a little stretch from the base of your neck. And then look to the right and to the left. So the neck is obviously part of the, the spine. And then inhale and we're going to bring our gaze up. So see if you can bring your gaze up without crunching the back of your spine. So it's hard to explain, but you'll know when you do it and you're, you're forcing it back. So yeah, let's take our hands and interlace them and raise them up above our heads. And then shrug our shoulders back away from our ears. And then let's reach our hands forward and find that nice rounding to the spine. And inhale, rise, and take a few bows, just as you will. And then release. So now we're going to come into some rib cage breath. So I, I try and cue this most of the time, but we're going to actually put our hands right on our chest uh, in a moment. But first, we're going to start. So let your hands be where they were and we're just going to come in and just examine the body so you can lower your gaze or gently shut your eyes make sure your seat is comfortable just scan your body noticing the sensations something's very very very, very high sensation bring your attention to it Just notice where you're squeezing. See if you can relax all the muscles that aren't required for sitting up. All the muscles in the shoulder, the glutes, if they're squeezing, squeeze them all the way and then see how much you can release. Come into this room for the next hour. All the past is behind you. The future is in front of you. So we focus on the present for one hour. Now let's bring our hands to the, out, to the to the rib cage, and we'll begin to intentionally breathe. So inhale and push into this. Breathe into the sides of the rib cage. Feel the crown of the head rise, creating that space. Exhale. Notice the contraction. Navel draws to your spine. Inhale, expand, pushing into the back body. And exhale, long and slow through the nose. And follow it all the way to the end. Notice the pause at the bottom. Inhale, expand. Breathing out deep. Exhale long and slow. All the way until there's a pause. Inhale, expand. Crown of the head rises, that invisible string. Rib cage is amazingly flexible. Exhale, long and slow. 
Continue breathing just like this, keeping your intention, growing your awareness, increasing your capacity. Exhaling super long all the way until your lungs are all the way empty or as empty as you can get them for now. Three more breaths. All right, you're welcome to keep your eyes shut and we're gonna begin a breathing exercise. It's called Brahmery and it's basically a buzz. It's like, uh, you've probably done it if you've ever played a kazoo before. So it's basically just a hum. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna set a timer for two minutes and I'm gonna start doing it with you so you have an example. Uh, but, but so I don't distract you, I will stop after a few rounds. And uh, so many applications. All right, so inhale deeply, feel the crown of the head rise, and then just begin to buzz. Continue buzzing as long as you can, and then inhale deeply and continue. We'll go for two minutes. Staying with the breath. You're welcome to find a pitch that you like, or find that one that's slightly uncomfortable. It doesn't have to be the same. One more round. Mm. Now just notice the sensation, the resonance flowing through the body. And flutter your eyes open and we'll come on to our backs. Yeah, I, I did that one for the first time in a long time this week and it was just really nice. And I really like how I, I'm still vibrating. So let's bring the soles of our feet together and come on to our backs. And wiggle, wiggle our shoulders under, wiggle your hips and side to side and get yourself comfortable. And we're just gonna examine the spine. So as you exhale, we're gonna curl the tailbone up, squeeze the glutes, push the feet together, and then just come into these baby bridges. Just work, working up one vertebra at a time. 
And then inhale, lower down, one vertebra at a time. So nothing too intense here, just trying to focus on the small movements. We'll keep flowing through this. So exhale, curl the tail up, squeeze the glutes, push the feet together, all the way up. Don't have to push it too far. And then inhale, lower down. See if you can find each vertebra. And if you can't, just visualize it and continue going and curl the tail up, squeeze the glutes to help your hips up into the air. Inhale, lower down. Just examining the spine and all its many, how amazing it is. One more. And now we'll plant our feet on the ground and we'll take a bridge. And again, we're not gonna do it really intensely, but work your shoulder blades under your back a little bit. Get your feet about hip width apart, you know, just in front of your body. And then just slowly exhale, squeeze the glutes, and raise the hips and notice the center of the rib cage. See so if you can reach the bottom of the sternum up. But just find that flow and lay down one vertebra at a time. Curling up the tailbone first, and then peeling each vertebra one at a time. Just moving with the breath. And I was cueing it so you exhale up. So if you're doing it with the inhale up, it's just different, it's not wrong. We're seeing how the glutes engage. How the body's interconnected. One more. And then slowly lower down. And we're going to roll on to our right side and tuck and hug our knees up to our chest. Not hug, just draw our knees up to our chest and place both arms into like an alligator position. So extend both arms into a clap. And then we're going to lift our left arm, open it up, leaving the knees together and find a twist. So see if you can reach that left shoulder towards the mat. You want to lift your hips up and unwind the spine a little bit more. This is a rather passive pose. The gaze can go over the left shoulder or up, wherever the spine is comfortable. Let's inhale, raise that left arm and bring it back. And we'll go to the other side. So roll over onto your left side, hug the knees to the chest. Make any adjustments you need. And then inhale, right arm rises up, reaches over, reaching that shoulder, right shoulder to the floor of the mat. Gaze follows the right arm. Maybe you'll pick up your hips just a little bit to let the spine unwind. Still waking up. And as you're ready, inhale, right arm comes over. And let's come to a hero's pose. Just take your time, help yourself up. Come onto your knees. So we're going to come into some planks and we're going to examine that, that spine and the, the full movement. You know, the spine can be really long and straight, or it can still be pretty long, and slightly shorter, and, and it has a lot of uh, bendability to it. But let's, let's just visualize our hands for the, the base of our plank. So extend our hands out in front of you and spread your fingers wide and draw those pinkies in just a little bit so you're not trying too hard. And let's find that shoulder. So draw your shoulder blades back and together and then push your hands forward, make your reaching and then find that middle spot where your chest is broad 
and your shoulders are broad. And I'm not gonna go into the mason jars too much, but you can, if you've been in the class before, we got the out external rotation to engage those lats. And then you draw your, your the heels of your hands toward, toward the hips. And then you engage that outward motion. And so as there's a lot going on, we're basically just pushing into the mat though. You know, nothing's moving. So just so you know, that's all, this is all part of the ultimate engagement. So, yeah, so you don't wanna be arching your, curving your back. You don't wanna be into this flexion. You wanna uh, just find that nice form, form back and you have to, uh, you have to feel it to, to know that you're not too far one way or another. There, there's no way you're gonna be perfect the first time. So let's place our hands down on the mat, draw the pinkies in just a little bit, stack our hands and let's just take a, a couple of cat cows. Hips are stacked over the knees. And then just let the belly drop. Inhale, crown of the head rises and feel the full range of motion of the spine, moving with your own breath. And pushing, clawing down with the fingertips, pushing down with the full circle of the palm. So even as we shift our weight and we shift our attention, we're just checking back in and we're like, oh yeah. My weight shouldn't be all into my pinky side. It should be balanced, as balanced as we can. It's not to feel guilty that we're doing it wrong if we don't do it perfectly, but just to remind ourselves there's room for improvement. All right, so let's walk our hands. Uh, watch, look where our fingertips are and walk the heel of your hand forward and bring your shoulders forward so your hips are in front of your knees now. And so this is a modified plank with your knees down. And so you can feel your belly tighten, probably. <laughs> and so this is, this is just fine as a, uh, uh, if, if, you're do, if, if doing a full plank is not for you. But if you're able to, tuck your toes and push out through your heels and find that nice distribution of weight through your hands, reaching back through your heels and forward with the crown of your head. Now we're gonna readjust our feet, raise our hips, push down through the hands, be soft through the shoulders, and come into a down dog. Bend one knee and the other. Hamstrings are probably pretty tight. Calves, so just pedal it out. And notice when you bend one knee, which where the weight goes in your hands. And when you push down with your hands, Notice how it feels for the back and the shoulders. It's all connected. Let's pull forward the plank and just really notice that rounding through the spine as you pull through on the tiptoes, pushing out through the heels. And it's okay to wiggle your feet that the feet are uh, adjustable. The down dog and a plank are not the exact same for everyone. reaching up through the back of the knees, and putting weight, being heavy through the hips. Then exhale, raise those hips, downward facing dog. Pedal it out again. Let's inhale, come up to our tiptoes. Exhale, reach those heels towards the mat. Pushing down to the hands. Inhale, pull forward to plank. Reaching out to the heels, reaching out to the crown of the head. You're always welcome to drop your knees. Now we're all gonna drop our knees. Bring the big toes together, widen the knees and push back child's pose. With the forehead come to the mat. Breathing nice and deep. Notice your belly is slightly restricted here, but if you're breathing into your rib cage, you can feel, still find that full range of breath. Inhale, come forward, come to plank. 
Extend through the heels, extend to the crown of the head. Notice if your hips are sticking up. Lift up to the back of the knees, extend to the crown of the head. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, for years I thought my feet had to be the exact same place and my hands had to be the exact same place. And then I was, somebody said, just wiggle your feet a little bit and find that adjustment that works for your body. Now we're gonna bend our knees nice and deeply. Look between our hands. Now we're gonna take 10 baby steps and walk to the front of the mat. We're gonna jump later, but not quite yet. And just find that forward fold. Let your head be heavy. No tension in the neck. Find a gentle sway from side to side. Maybe you grab opposite elbows. And take a nice deep bend in the knees. Let your chest settle onto your thighs. Let your arms dangle and roll up. Again, going one vertebra at a time. Taking three breaths or so. Coming to standing. Good. Shrug your shoulders to your ears. Let your palms open up. Broadening through the chest. <sighs> Maybe you can still feel a little of that bromery buzz. Let's inhale our arms up. Find that clasp. So we're going to interlace our hands and have that index finger facing up. And squeeze our upper arms towards our ears and then lower our shoulders away from our ears, but still finding that engagement. And we're going to lean to the right. So pushing down to that left foot, not letting that left hip squeeze out, not collapsing to the right side either. <laughs> Our ribs are not jutting out. Inhale, return to center. Switch the clasp to the opposite pinkies on the outside. And then exhale, lower to the left, pushing down to that right foot. Keeping that hip in line. Inhale, return to center, draw the hands down the center of the body. Thumbs from to the base of the sternum. Take a full inhale. Feel the crown of the head rise, the chest expand. Exhale fully. Come to our sun salutations. Oh. Inhale, extend the fingertips out and up. Gaze follows the hands and exhale, fold forward, lead with the crown of the head. Nice long flat back. Inhale, arms or <laughs> halfway lift, crown of the head rises and fold. Inhale, arms rise. Nice bend in the knees, protects the low back. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale and fold. Nice bend in the knees. Inhale, arms rise. Oh, no, no, halfway lift, I'm sorry. Exhale and fold. Now, inhale, arms rise. Keep that bend in the knees. Exhale, and start center. We're gonna add on now, we're gonna step back. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, and fold. Long flat back, diving down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees deeply. Clench your hands, step your right foot back. Step your left foot back, plank. Find that just for a moment, then you're gonna lower your knees, keep your butt in the air, lower your chest and your chin. Now you're gonna push your hands into the mat. Inhale, come forward, low cobra. Untuck the toes. Heels of your hands are pushing down and pu pulling back towards the 
the hips. Exhale, tuck the toes, push up plank, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look between your hands, step your right foot forward, step your left foot forward and fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale and fold. Staying with your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Plant your hand, step the left foot back, step the right foot back, plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. Keeping your elbows tugging together. Push your hands down, draw your hands back as you pull forward, low cobra. Drawing your elbows back and together a little bit. Exhale, tuck the toes, push up and downward facing dog. Bend your knees, step the left foot forward, step the right foot forward to match and fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend, <laughs> bend the knees, plant the hands, step the right foot back, step the left foot back, plank, lower knees, chest and chin. Low cobra, pull forward. Nice little back bend, top of the feet. That one, the pinky toe side of the foot pushes down. Exhale, tuck the toes, push up, plank, downward facing dog. Bend your knees deeply, gaze between your hands, step the right foot forward, step the left foot forward and fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step the left foot back, step the right foot back, plank, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Bend the knees. And take a moment and gaze between the hands and visualize. Maybe you can picture yourself hopping forward. So you're welcome to see if you can push down into the hands and hop. Or you can take it one foot at a time. And fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. So well, you, if you're, you're welcome to take that hop or you can take it one step at a time, just like you always do. Uh, or you can try a little of both, you know, you can see how far you can hop. But the, the goal is to try and, yeah, you, know, you eventually it's gonna be a, uh, coming into a handstand, so you're gonna float. But, but just for this purpose is bending your knees, gazing between the hands, and you can just line them up right in the middle, so. I'm not perfect at it either, but it is something else you can add to your practice. If you do a sun salutation every day, maybe it's uh, something something we can do. So we'll do the last round and then we'll we'll keep moving. <laughs> Inhale, hands to heart center. Take a grounding breath. I need a grounding breath sometimes. Inhale, extend the fingertips out and up. Exhale, lead with the crown of the head and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step the right foot back, step the left foot back, plank, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, pull forward, low cobra. You can always straighten your arms, do a full up dog. Move the heels of your hands still drawing towards your hips. And then tuck the toes. Push back plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze between the hands and hop forward. 
and fold. Always welcome to take the option of your choice. Good night, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, bend the knees. Step the left foot back, step the right foot back. Plank, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push back, bend the knees deeply, push down to the hands, gaze between the hands, and hop forward and fold. And we'll pause here for a moment. So you're, there is a hop back, there's a, there's a million variations. And when you get into like Ashtanga yoga, they, they, uh, <laughs> that's where they, they have a lot of shoulder injuries, a lot of knee injuries. So that's why I hesitate to teach these more advanced <laughs> advanced things, but just so you know that they're out there, you can hop back instead of going one leg at a time. But like once you feel that shoulder pain or you're doing it too fast with your knee, when I take these other vinyasa classes, that's what really bothers me. So, so that's my, <laughs> my, my little disclaimer. All right, so now we're, here we are in a forward fold. And so there's a, uh, you can have your big toes together or one fist or maybe two fists apart between your feet. And we're just gonna sink down, let our chest rest against our knees, bend our knees nice and deep. We're gonna rise up into a chair. So inhale, rise. And you're welcome to, if this is her heart on your shoulders, you can take a cactus arms. Well, you're welcome to rise up. See if you can bring, bring a little weight into your heels. And bring your stomach off your thighs. And draw your pinkies in towards each other so you open up the back. Tuck the chin slightly. Just notice your spine, the tailbone articulating. Now inhale, extend the legs and fold. Pedal it out. Take a moment. The old bus stop warming pose always gets the blood flowing. And we'll go again. Here we go. Bend the knees deeply. Let the chest come down onto your thighs. And then as you inhale, raise up the arms. Sink the seat down. And so notice where the weight is. It's probably more forward. And see if you can see it. Bring it into the heels a little bit. If your toes came out or came up, see if you can push them back down. Line that length to the crown of the head, reaching to the tailbone. Inhale, extend the legs and fold. Release, releasing through the neck, shake it yes, shake it no. One more time into chair. And from chair, we're gonna step back to high lunge. So exhale, lower your chest down, bend your knees. Inhale, raise up the arms. Pinkies rotate in towards each other, broadening that back. Breathing nice and deep. Coming into that rib cage breath or staying with it. Now we bring our focus. We're gonna put our weight into the left foot and slowly raise our right foot and just step it way back. Find our hips, so left hips probably forward. So bring it, bring the right hip forward, left hip back. Right knee is right on top of the right, the left, left knee is right on top of the left ankle. So let back heel is lifted. And so you're pushing, pushing energy out through that back. You're squeezing your inner thighs together. Inhale your arms up. So inhale and feel that gentle tug from the ceiling, lengthening to the spine. Maybe you come into a slight back bend. Gaze can go towards the ceiling. We're gonna draw our hands down behind our back and find a clasp and push your hands down, opening up that chest, 
That'll get you into a little back bend. The legs are nice and strong, not moving. I'm gonna exhale and fold forward over onto that front knee and see if you can work your chest to the inside of that the front leg. Breathing nice and deep, pushing out to that back heel. Inhale, let your hands help you up. We're gonna lower that back knee and release the clasp. Anjaneyasana, nice little groin stretch so you can have your hands on your knee or you're welcome to, if you're nice and stable, you're welcome to raise your arms up. Breathing nice and deep. Pushing down to that front knee, front heel. You can push down to the pinky toe side of the right foot. You can lengthen your pose if you want, if you want more stretch. But in something like this, you don't always need it. You know, just being here can be enough. We're gonna lower that left arm down and just lean over to the right. So <laughs> lower the, the arm of the front foot and just find that nice little side body. Oh, inhale. We're gonna drop our hands and we're gonna rotate into a prasarita so the toes face the long side of the mat. Your, your, your stance is probably about, just about the same length. So let our hand, heels or your hands come in, and walk them back until they're about in line with the heels of your feet. Giving a nice slight bend in the knees, pushing into the outside edge of the foot. I always seem to be in a rush through life. I'm like, let's go to the next thing. I'm like, I didn't finish doing the first thing. And so you gotta find that balance, but sometimes it's good to linger, especially when you're doing yoga. <laughs> but no tension in the neck. All right, we're gonna just uh, transition to right to the opposite side. So if you can't see your screen, try and Remember what we did the first time, I'm gonna try and do it exactly the same. So let's rotate. And so towards the, so the right foot is in front now and find our, our low lunge. So your, your feet are fully facing, the right foot's facing the back of the mat and pushed out to that back heel, push down to that front heel, squeeze the inner thighs together, find that stability, inhale, rise up. Pushing out to that back heel, leaning into that front knee, finding those hips facing the front of the, or the back of the mat. And we're gonna lower both hands behind our back, find a clasp and find the opposite pinky on the bottom. So switch the class, reach down with the hands, keeping your legs nice and strong, keeping energy pushing out to that back heel. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, lift your arms, fold forward. So your chest comes down onto that front thigh and see if you can work it to the inside of it. Keeping energy pushing out to that back heel. And it's okay if you're a little wobbly. If you need to come out, you're always welcome. You're always welcome to take a child's pose. But while you're here, we're nice and strong. And inhale, lower your arms, rise up, and then lower the knee nice and slowly. And then untuck the back toes. Hands can come to the front knee. And you can lean into that front knee a little bit more. Inhale, arms rise, find that length. Breathing nice and deep. And if it works for you, you can lower that right arm down to the side and 
Lean over to the right. So the legs are still nice and strong and active. Just finding the left side body stretch. A little quadris laborum, one of those low back muscles that silently and invisibly causes pain. And inhale, return to center. Place your hands down, come back, prasarita. And we can try walking our hands over to the right side. And walking our hands over to the left. And just seeing the range and keeping energy in the legs, pushing out the outside edges of the feet. And you can go back to the other side. And that's Let's bend into the left knee. And then you can bend into the right knee. And just find this rhythm. Maybe lift those toes up and flex the toes back. You get into your ninja pose where you're just feeling a little bit more limber. Maybe some people can do this with their hands lifted. I'm not feeling that today. Well, I'm a little shaky. I went, went for a jog yesterday. Why? Why? <laughs> anyway, heel toe your, come to a moment where you're balanced and heel toe your feet together until your feet are about hip width apart. Feet are about a 45 degree angle and then we're going to come into a squat. And if your heels are come off the ground and you're leaning forward, just take a moment and roll up your mat and you can put your heels right on that. And so let's see if we can work our upper arm and our shoulder in front of our knee. So this is a nice relaxing position for most Asian people, but not Americans, you know, it takes a lot of getting used to. So just notice where that tailbone is. You don't have to change too much. And we're not going to go into crow today, but as a crow prep, we can, as our arms are under as much as we can, we're going to push our arms into our knees and then squeeze our knees back into our, into our uh, arms. And so find that isometric where neither one is winning, but you find that nice stability. So just squeeze the knees into the shoulders and the arms pushing back into the knees. And all of a sudden you're nice and relaxed. Breathing into that rib cage. And then as you're ready, come out. We're gonna work our way into a, a down dog and prepare for a pigeon. So spread those fingers nice and wide. Tuck the toes, raise the hips up. Pedal it out, just take a moment, find yourself. You bring the weight into the left foot as you raise your right, flex those toes. And then we're gonna stack our hips. We're gonna come into a scorpion, stack our hips, bend the right knee and look under your left armpit and see your toes wiggling and waving hello to you. Notice the weight distribution in your hands. Inhale, unstack the hips, straighten the right leg. Now your right ankle is gonna come to your left wrist. So slowly and deliberately, just set it down. And so in the textbooks, the, they say the calf is gonna be parallel, perpendicular and like parallel to the front of the mat. Definitely doesn't work for me. So as you're sitting up tall, some people like a block to support them, their hip, but we're just gonna sit up tall and keep our mindfulness. And then maintain that length as you walk forward. And a block can be nice here if you want to put it under your head and come down onto your forearms. Just settle out. Hip openers you tend to hold for longer. So while we're here, I want you to think about 
a walk you took, a pleasant walk you took, maybe a week ago, maybe yesterday, but whatever it was, picture the sensation. Notice the, the cold air on your skin. Maybe it was raining or a light breeze. Notice the plants you're walking by. Maybe you saw a cool house or a really old big tree. Anything you can remember, just bring it back and stay in that moment. Sound of running water, or overheard conversations and traffic noise, all part of the experience. If you want, it's a good time. If you, you want to readjust and you can bring your forehead to the mat, or if, you're, if it's not working for you, come out of the pose just slightly and readjust. And then bring yourself back to that pleasant memory, enjoying the experience of an afternoon stroll, just going to the park like you always do, seeing the same things and re-experiencing that beauty. Hmm, that was a nice walk. <laughs> As you're ready, walk your hands back under your body. Tuck the left toes, extend that right leg up to the air and plant it down, pedal it out. Work through the shoulders. And we'll go to the other side. So inhale, raise the left leg high and then bend the knee. Stack the hips and look under your right armpit to see your right toes wiggling. Hello. Notice the weight distribution in your hands. Push down a little more with the one that's not. And then unstack the hips. We're gonna bring our left ankle to the right wrist. And just settle out. Look back behind you, see that? foot going in one direction, sit up nice and tall. And then as you're ready, maintaining that length, come down to the forearms, maybe your head's on a block, wiggle the hips a little bit, settle in, and then return to your memory. You always have to walk home from that walk too, you know, and that can be just as fun. You gotta jump over that crack in the sidewalk, That little dog barking at you. It's kind of annoying, but it's kind of endearing that it knows you're there. Settle in. You can be heavy through the hips. Just noticing the sensation. Continuing to breathe nice and deep. What a beautiful day at the park, huh? And as we're ready, we'll begin to slowly come out, leaving our experience at the park, pushing into our hands, pushing into our toes, raising that left foot high and setting it down. Walk your feet forward and then sit back. Oh, so let's come back how we almost how we started. So draw the soles of our feet together. 
If you want, you can grab a sweatshirt or a blanket for Shavasana. We'll wiggle the hips. Notice the difference. Draw your shoulders under your body. Baddha Konasana. Take a slight tuck to the chin. Just reflect on the work you've done. In this class, well, you can, you can think about your whole life. It's taken a lot, it's taken a lot of years to get to this point. And we're still alive. We still have the ability to smile. There's a lot of good in the world. All right, before we take Shavasana, let's take one more twist. So extend your left leg, draw your right knee up to your chest, and then just let, take your left hand to the outside of your right knee and draw it over to the right side. Trying to keep your right shoulder down. You can lift your hips just slightly, unwind the spine. Your gaze can go over the opposite shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, switch the legs, extend the right leg, draw the left knee up and draw it in. Take the right hand to the outside of the left knee and draw it over to the right side, lifting the hips, seeing if you can keep that left shoulder really close to the ground. Just find that twist. Inhale, return to center. And draw your knees up to your chest. Give yourself a hug. Maybe you find a happy baby. You reach your up for the outside of your calves or the outside edges of your feet. And as you draw your soles of your feet towards the ceiling, see if you can leave your tailbone on the ground. You can rock gently side to side, a little forward and back maybe. I like the side to side myself. So many aches and pains and, and then they go away. It's nice. And if there's any other poses, this is your time. Something else your body's requesting. Otherwise you're welcome to stay in happy baby. And as you're ready, prepare for Shavasana. Extend the legs out. And let your feet be wider than the hips and let the feet fall to the outside. And draw your arms down by the hips. And squeeze the glutes and release them. Draw the shoulder blades together. Settle into the mat. And release the jaw. Tuck the chin. Release your breath. Keeping your mind present as your body sinks into the floor.
Begin to deepen your breath. Any small movements back to the body, the wiggle the fingers and the toes. Roll your arms and legs in and out. And as you're ready, find yourself in a full body stretch. Interlace your fingers, reach them up, invert your palms, flex the toes, push out your heels in a full body stretch. And give yourself a big hug. Thanking yourself for coming to class today. And as you're ready, roll over onto one side. Take a full round of breath as transition. And come into a comfortable seat. And draw your hands to heart center. We'll take one round of breath. Inhale through the nose, feel the crown of the head rise. Exhale fully. The spirit in me recognizes and respects the spirit in you. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.